So that is pretty good, right? You can see her and now we are in the car. So let's download this. So now we're going to upload our next frame, right? The one we created using context. I'm going to grab this. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. So let's go to the car, shall we? So that was training done for me this week. Do you guys have any interesting plans for the weekend? Okay, so Google just announced a new update to V03. So today I thought we can take a look at this and kind of what this means. And I'm going to go through a few tips I have uh, with this new update that you can use. So if you look at the update here, you can see uh, we now support uh, speech in first frame to video, right? So this means that we now can do uh, our own images and turn those into speech. So that is quite big. So we can upload any picture. This means that we can be more consistent, right? And this also uh, is uh, included for the VO3 fast option. Uh, that is great because I really like fast uh, text to video with VO3. It kind of saves your credit. And I would say it's almost as good. And if you're on the pro uh, subscription, you can now top up with credits. That's good. And we have some other improvements here. They try to kind of improve the audio coverage and some un uh, fewer unwanted subtitles. That's good and just some various bugs and fixes. So let's just head over to VO and let's see uh, what we can do with this new update. Okay, so I logged into kind of my flow here and what we're gonna select now is uh, instead of text to video, we're gonna go to frames to video, right? And I'm gonna pick uh, VO3 fast. So you could do quality too, but this is uh, much cheaper. It's just 20 credits instead of 100. So now we're just gonna upload an image here, right? Okay, so let's just upload an image here. I'm gonna do chris2.jpg, right? And I'm gonna grab this image. So this is just me doing like a uh, yeah talk or something. So I'm gonna upload this. And I'm gonna do the prompt uh, that's gonna be, I think Cloud Code is the best agentic AI coder at the moment. So that is what I prefer to use. Natural body language. And now we kind of have our image here, perfect as first frame. And I'm gonna send this and hopefully now, yeah, this will look pretty good and we kind of can set our own dialogue here. So while we let this run, uh, let me show you another thing we can do now. So if you look here, we just have like a, yeah, random image of a girl here. So if we download this, right, this could be anything. This would be a animated character, anything, an animal or something like that. So we can just generate this by using Gemini image and four here uh, on the gemini.google.com. So I'm gonna download this. Uh, we can, before we do anything, let's check back here. Uh, okay, so this was done now. So now you can see uh, we kind of have our video here, eight seconds. So let's uh, listen to how this turned out. Um, I think Cloud Code is the best uh, agentic AI coder at the moment. So that is what I prefer to use. Um, I think Cloud Code is the Okay, so that was pretty good, right? You can see the image quality is a bit bad. It's not the best image I uploaded, but you can see me moving around. Nothing else was moving, and I kind of spoke out the dialogue. So that was pretty cool. Uh, I think this is very interesting, and it's going to unlock a lot of different workflows we can use, right? Uh, but if we go back to our image here, so we downloaded this, and what we can do now is just upload that. So let's just grab that. So we're going to let this upload, and I can just come up with the dialogue here. So let's just do something like, I just finished my leg day, I'm really sore, haha, -ha, so let's go to the car, shall we? Natural vlogging to camera or something like that. We are still on VO3 fast and frames to video, so I'm gonna send this. Okay, so uh, what the next thing we're gonna do now is, uh, I like this model called Flux Context Pro. I think this is the best image to image editing model. So let's update, uh, upload our character here. So that was kind of this uh, girl, right? So let's just change this to 916. I uh, wanna do PNG. And uh, let's, uh, so I'm just gonna try, change the scene to vlogging from her car, video, selfie, something like this. And let's run that. So what context can do is uh, kind of keep this character or person or whatever you want to call it kind of consistent so hopefully when we get the image now we can kind of move to the car so that is pretty good right you can see her and now we are in the car so let's download this okay so this was done so let's watch this first scene here i just finished my leg day ah oh, i'm really sore <laughs> so let's go to the car shall we Okay, that was fine. Maybe not the best, but it is working, right? So now we're going to upload our next frame, right? The one we created using context. I'm going to grab this. 
And let's just do something simple like... Uh, so that was uh, training done for me this week. Do you guys have any interesting plans for the weekend? Let me know below. See you soon. Vlogging to the camera. Okay, so let's send this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this first scene we have here and download it. I'm just going to keep it like original size. And I'm just going to paste it into Premiere Pro here, right? So we kind of have the first scene lined up here. Okay, so now we have our second scene. We can just download this and just pop it in here, right? Put it back on this part. We can check the transition here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so let's see how this looks now. I just finished my leg day. Ah, oh, I'm really sore. <laughs> so let's go to the car, shall we? So that was training done for me this week. Do you guys have any interesting plans for the weekend? Let me know below. Gaia, soon. Okay, so there were some artifacts on the sound there, but other than that, I think that was pretty good. That's a very consistent character, right? Over this uh, two scenes here. Can't really tell any difference. So I think that's a very interesting workflow, and I'm definitely gonna dive deeper into this. So uh, if you are also interested in that, I do have a video course on AI that I'm gonna update this week with a new module on the new update on VO3. So if you go to the AIvideocourse.com, you can sign up for this. So on here we kind of have updated, uh, yeah, I update the modules all the time. So the latest module I did was kind of my strategy for viral AI videos. I had some good luck with that. So I just go to kind of how I do that. And we have other consistent characters in VO3. That's going to be a bit different now. That's why I need to update this module. Because uh, this kind of changes everything we knew about consistent characters. So I'm going to do a new module on that on this week. So if you're interested in diving deeper into AI video, check it out, theaivideocourse.com. You can find the link in the description below. Okay, so I want to do one more thing. So let's try to be a bit creative here at the end here. So let's say we take a famous image. Yeah, just grab this Mona Lisa or something. So I downloaded this image. Uh, we can go to Flux and we can start over here. So I'm just going to upload uh, the image, Mona Lisa, right? And let's do something with this image, right? So let's just start with uh, put the image on a wall in a Scottish castle, aka 1950s. Let's just start with that. So I like to do this kind of step by step. If we do too much at uh, one time, uh, we're just going to have some issues. But let's just start with this. Okay, so we got the image hanging on a wall here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to download this. Okay, and upload that again. And I'm going to do a few changes. So let's just do zoom out dining table uh, in a Scottish castle. So we're going to spin this around again. We have the same PNG and 16 by 9. So let's see if we can get, uh, uh, yeah, come a bit of, of away from the image now. Okay, so that's pretty good, right? We kind of have the Mona Lisa. We have some shares and stuff. It's not perfect, but it's fine for this example. So I'm going to download that again and let's just upload it. So let's just do a hyper-realistic photo, a couple in the 30s are sitting at the table, dinner is served. So that is hopefully going to be our first frame. So we can have some conversation uh, about this image, right? Okay, so we got this, that's pretty good, that's kind of what I wanted. Two people yeah, sitting around this table, it's not perfect, but it's fine. We could have done much more to make this a bit better. For our example, I think this is fine. So now we're going to head here and we're going to do frames to video, I'm going to upload the image we created, right, crop and save, we're gonna do nine, 16 by 9. And let me come up with a dialogue here. Okay, so let's do some dialogue here, like uh, ready to sell a painting. Damn, I'll miss her smile, me too, but we can't turn an offer like that. So let's see how this turns out now, right? So we kind of went from a famous image, we turn it into, yeah, something else here by using uh, context. Uh, we could, of course, just prompt this, but I just wanted to show off kind of how this works. And let's see how this turns out now when we kind of get the uh, the video from BO3. So while we wait for that, let's do a car or something. Let's do a hyper-realistic image of a steampunk, steampunk Lambo driving in a suburban street. So what I wanted to see if we can actually take like a, yeah, like something like this. Lamborghini, let's download this. And let's see if we can create a new scene by using this uh, special car here. But now I guess uh, our video is ready, so let's see how this turned out. I can see the quality is not so good, but let's listen to kind of how uh, this ended up. Ready to sell the painting? <laughs> Damn, I'll miss her smile. <laughs> Me too, but we can't turn down an offer like that. 
Ready to sell the painting? <laughs> okay, that was fine. For like uh, so little effort put in, I think that turned out pretty good. You can see we are kind of get getting a lot of artifacts because of the quality of the image here. But uh, that could be fixed maybe by using a better image input here. Uh, but let's go back to our car here. So we downloaded this. Okay. And let's do an upload here. So let's just do steampunk Lamborghini driving down the street. Action shot. I'm just going to send this. Uh, but what I want to do is upload this back here. And I want to try to do an other angle of this. So let's keep it simple. Different angle of the steampunk Lamborghini on a suburban street. Uh, I want to do 916. Okay, so let's see if we can get a new angle on this. Okay, so we ended up with this. That was pretty cool. Uh, I want to download this. Uh, but I kind of wanted to, uh, let's see, different angle of the steampunk Lamborghini from behind. Let's see how that turns out. We kind of kind of want to transition from driving uh, in front and from behind. So we got this. Uh, that looks pretty good. So let's watch this. Uh, but first I just want to upload the one we just uh, created. I think that looks a bit better. And let's just do the same prompt. So now we got it from behind. Okay. Okay, that was pretty cool, right? Now you can see we are behind the Lamborghini. And looking kind of down the street. That was pretty cool. So I want to grab that too. And let's uh, pop that frame up here. Same prompt. Okay, so we got the responses here now. So let's watch this tree here. And I think all of them turned out pretty good. Okay, that was not the best one. I think we can remove this. I think this one was much better, right? The one where we kind of zoomed out a bit. Yeah, that's a super nice transition kind of there into the one here, kind of from behind here. Yeah, so I think you get the point, right? You can see now how much freedom this kind of gives us when we now can use input images. It just gives us a much more coherent things we can create, right? So this is a big upgrade. It doesn't really maybe sound that big, but if you have tried to play around a lot with AI video, you know this is a very helpful step uh, by can using your own images uh, because of the consistency and of the things you can do by, it's much easier to describe something when you kind of have a reference image, right? And it doesn't cost so much because this can kind of reduce your, uh, your spending because it's easier to go from a reference image to something you want than just using text. And like I said, the consistency is just gonna be much better. Uh, but if you found this interesting, I'm gonna dive deeper into my module on the video course if uh, you are interested. Uh, but yeah, that was pretty cool and this is definitely not the last video I'm gonna do on this because, uh, like I said, we are just starting to understand what we can use this for and it's a very good time to get into AI video generation and there's a lot of opportunities in this space at the moment. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool update, really hyped for this and yeah. Thank you for tuning in, have a great day and I'll see you again soon.